Salang-salang lutu-lutuan. Hello everyone! Please join me tonight as I make General Tso's chicken for dinner! First, cut off 2 pounds of chicken breast. Add some pepper and salt to taste. together and then add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 large egg, and 3 tablespoons of cornstarch. And just mix them all together for marination. You will marinate this for a couple of hours or minutes. Depends on when are you going to use it. Cover them with cling wrap and set them aside. Now, on a separate bowl, pour 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. This will be the sauce for the chicken later. There you go. Next, we will be adding chicken broth. 2 tablespoons of chicken broth. a little bit of twist from the rice vinegar that we put in. Next, we will be using 2 tablespoons of sesame oil. I'm using the cap here because it had the same measurement as the tablespoon. This will add a different flavor for the chicken as well. Lastly, we'll be putting 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. This will give a different texture on the sauce later. Just mix them all up and then you will see the consistency of this later. Make sure that the cornstarch is well blended with the other ingredients. Next, we will be having 2 inches of ginger. Chop and mince them well. Chop them as well. It is red onion. I'm using red onions. Next will be the garlic. The garlic must be chopped, same as the ginger. And lastly, let's cut some green onions for additional spice later on. Next will be the frying of this chicken. We'll be having one cup of flour and just a pinch of salt. Any salt will do. It will be fine. Just mix them all together and then later on, we will do the breadings. Next, let's preheat the pan and add some vegetable oil. This will be a deep fried chicken, so we will be adding lots of vegetable oil. Next, we will be adding some breadings for this beautiful chicken. in that flour and salt that we made a while ago and then we will fry them in a while in a just make sure that you see the nice mix them all together and make sure that the chicken is fully or evenly covered with the flour 
and be sure also to knock off the excess. Now we are ready to fry. Put in all of the chicken. Just make sure that they are not too crowded. Fry the chicken in the wire wrap and sprinkle some salt right away. Whoa! And now for the sauce, add 2 tablespoons of unsalted butter and some olive oil. garlic fry them make sure that the garlic is almost golden brown like this next put in the red onions stir them all together ready for the sauce. Now, here's the one we made a while ago. Bring the sauce into simmer and lower the heat as it gets thick. Now, continuously stir them all together. Wait until it gets thick and then turn off the heat. As you can see, it will be some kind of like this. Now add the crispy fried ch chicken into the pan and make sure that the fried chicken is coated with this sauce. Toss the sauce until the chicken is completely covered by the sauce. Yummy! in it I will just simply drench this broccoli with our boiling water and then that's it and on the side I will be just adding my favorite potato salad I love this potato salad because it's not too salty Add the chicken onto the plate and sprinkle those green onions that we had a while ago. watching i hope you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe like and share okay see you on my next video bye